In this week's episode, a tool-toting crow, good news for California's captive orcas, snow leopards thriving in Afghanistan, and an epic moose battle. Starting off in the US with some good news for orcas. California has just signed a law forbidding the breeding or captivity of the marine mammals, making it the first state to do so. The California Orca Protection Act will come into effect in 2017 and also bans the use of orcas in entertainment. On to Russia with the rare sighting of the country's famous rescue tiger, Zalushka. The big cat is the first rehabilitated tiger to breed in the wild, and new camera trap images show that both her and her two young cubs are still doing well. And snow leopards are thriving in Afghanistan. The Wakhan National Park, established two years ago in a remote region of the country, boasts an estimated 140 of the endangered cats. The leopards are said to have benefited from a conservation program set up in 2009, which began enclosing corrals with mesh roofs to protect livestock from attack in an effort to minimize human-animal conflict. From land to sea with a deep sea creature in trouble. The chambered nautilus's beautiful shell is a popular souvenir and demand is skyrocketing. In five years, the U.S. imported almost 800,000 of these spiraled shells, and as a result, chambered nautilus populations are plummeting. But there is hope for these 500 million year old creatures. A number of nations have proposed protecting the nautilus at the upcoming CITES conference. Staying in the ocean, the U.K. has announced plans to create marine protected areas around four islands in the Pacific and the Atlantic. Commercial fishing will now be banned from a million square kilometers of ocean, and although it will be allowed in some of the protected areas, activities like oil drilling will be prohibited. Off to Japan, where breeding horseshoe crabs are dying, confounding scientists. Every year, the arthropods gather in the thousands on the Sonhigata tidal flats to lay their eggs, and this season, mortality rates have reached almost 500. Because these animals grow and reproduce slowly, the mass deaths are particularly concerning. What do sea otters, elephants, and octopuses have in common? They're all part of an elite group of animals known to use tools. And now there's one more. Scientists have discovered an endangered Hawaiian crow that uses sticks to find food, making it the latest addition to the list. Tragically, the species is already extinct in the wild. And conservationists in New Zealand are concerned about declining kea parrot numbers. There's thought to be between 1 and 5,000 of the inquisitive birds left in the country, but the Kea Conservation Trust claims to have seen a fall in the population and is now crowdfunding a mobile app to track kea numbers with the public's help. Rounding off with this intense encounter, two bull moose battle for 15 minutes in order to secure breeding rights to a nearby cow, and a lucky photographer caught the whole clash on camera. That's it for today. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.